I've been in the airline industry for almost 41 years and uh, I joined back in uh, July 1971 when it was under MSA and about a year later it changed to Singapore Airlines. I started out working on a 707 aircraft uh, in the hangar and uh, about uh, two years later I was posted to the 74 hangar so after spending about three years in a hangar I decided I want to change and I asked my boss for a change in the work environment and I ended up in line maintenance. When I first saw the 747, I was overawed by the size. It was big, you know, compared to the 707 that I used to work on. It's longer, larger wingspan, bigger engines. For the 744, we could actually monitor the aircraft state of health. We are able to read off a screen how the aircraft was behaving in flight. And it helps us in preparing to service the aircraft when it lands in an airport. And so when the uh, aircraft land and the pilots, even before he opens his mouth to tell the engineer what is the problem, the engineer can go up to him and say, uh, Captain, I think you have this, 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 this problem, and I think uh, this is the possible solution that I can apply. And you'll be amazed that sometimes even the captain himself are surprised so it shows us the level of uh, the technology used on the 747 that we have today. What many people don't know about the 747 was that when they changed the aircraft from 747-300 series to 747-400 series, they removed about three to 400 switches from the cockpit. And that uh, reduced the need of a flight engineer as an operating crew. The 747 has truly helped Singapore Airlines to be a global carrier it is today. Having worked on this aircraft for the last uh, 30 odd years, flown in it as a passenger, stripped it apart, put it back again, look for faults with it, I think it's gonna be uh, something which I miss. If you see the 747 go, you see part of your life go because you know, we have spent days and nights in this airport working on it and uh, it has given us heartache for the problems that cropped up when we were working on it but it's a good and reliable aircraft and uh, it's sad to see it go, that's for sure.